this night that we are setting up. And in the last uh, uh, two years, our community has had lots of conversations about how can we offer TMS to Sioux Falls area. And uh, I am the second uh, place to offer this uh, technology. Uh, Vera Behavioral Health is the other place that's offering that in South Dakota. And I think it's our responsibility to share what this uh, technology is about and how it works. So um, I think the first and foremost is uh, to uh, know thy audience. So um, I do this whenever I talk, I do a brain lecture to addiction facilities throughout uh, the year. And I always poll the audience to say, if you had to pick a question that you were hoping to learn while you come to this, what would, uh, what would, what would you like to learn? You want to start, Mrs. Davini? <laughs> what would I like to learn? Yeah, what would you like to learn? <laughs> well, how this machine reacts to the brain or how the brain reacts to the machine. That is a good question. We will definitely be covering that. Mel, do you want to come run our computer actually for me? Mm -hmm. um, that's, yeah, that's the first question I usually get too. Um, when I first was on a research team in, um, in Salt Lake City, they were studying how this, medic how this machine works. And they were using it to look at Parkinson's. Um, really looking at how well could we help that tremor that's in deep in the brain called the basal ganglia Could we help impact the tremor to be less? And in fact that study is still going on They're still looking at that and whether you can impact that it's a much more difficult process to impact um, There's lots of theories about that one of the one of the Disadvantages for treating Parkinson's is that you've got a much older brain that you're studying as a as a population for Parkinson's. But um, in the impact of, raise your hand if you know somebody with Parkinson's. Nobody? Someone with Parkinson's? Mm -hmm. No, just the Michael Fox. Oh, Michael Fox. <laughs> but he's, he's actually a well-treated Parkinson's patient too. So he is. Uh, if you look at the other part with Parkinson's, it's always just the hardest thing is their ability to express themselves or uh, relate how well could they um, uh, communicate or s share their emotions they get a very blunted affect in fact one of the one of the terms they have a mask that they wear their face looks like a mask because they just cannot express their facial expressions and it's a part of depression uh, because the, the part of their brain that goes to sleep with Parkinson's uh, happens we one of the first drugs that you write when you find out somebody has Parkinson's is an antidepressant because they absolutely struggle with depression so they're, they're doing the trial to look for the tremor, and by golly, their depression really separated and had a, an impressive, um, I mean, it led to the FDA approval of how do we, um, how, do, how does TMS affect the brain in depression, so.